Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back into with another YouTube video. And um in today's video today we're doing uh my review of uh episode number two, the Star Spangled Man episode of uh the Falcon Winter Soldier. So yeah, my initial reaction. Really good episode, really interesting. Filled with lots of Easter eggs. I'm actually going to say I have an Easter egg as well. That was from last episode as well because, yeah, I, I noticed this, this during this week and, yeah, I forgot to say this. So, yeah, uh, warning, spoilers ahead. Uh, all my reviews are spoilers unless I say it's not. Uh, so, I want to make sure that's clear. That's why I don't usually give spoiler warnings, but I wouldn't, I'm going to try and do it more. But sometimes I might forget. But, um, yeah, let's get into this. So yeah, another good episode. Falcon and Winter Soldier, really good. Uh, episode two. Uh, the episode starts off with us getting a bit of backstory. Or you could classify it as backstory on a bit of John Walker and the whole him being Captain America. Even though I don't, or I personally, I think I'll call him U.S. Agent. I personally do not want to call him Captain America. So I'll be calling him U.S. Agent. Uh, so yeah, we got some backstory on him. Uh, yeah, we just saw he's there. And then we got uh, it fast forward a little bit to when we're seeing Falcon. He, I mean, sorry, Winter Soldier or Bucky. He's looking at the screen. Like he's like, what the hell just happened? And then he's like, why'd you give that guy the shield? Or why'd you leave the shield? You knew they were going to do that kind of thing. So yeah, that happens. And then they... They are still kind of going off the events that happened last episode with the Flag Smasher people. And uh, pretty much uh, they go and fight them. John Walker slash US Agent comes along with his friend whose name is Lamar Hoskins. Uh, but I'll explain that after his character. Uh, so yeah, that happens. Uh, they pretty much get their asses whooped. I'm not even going to lie. By the Flag Smashers. Uh... That happens. Um, then uh, Sam and Bucky kind of go to. They go to uh, uh, Baltimore where they find another. Uh, somebody by the name of Isaiah Bradley. And he's like an old man. And he basically explains this kind of story. And I'll try to go in and explain that as well. Uh, so yeah, they meet him, and they they realize he's another. Well, they knew, or Winter Soldier knew, but not Sam or anybody else, that he was another super soldier. Yeah, and that happens. Then they end up having to go to jail because Bucky missed the therapy appointment. That happened. Uh, then John Walker's like, ah, join me now. Nah, keep join. He keeps trying to make them join him, but they don't want to because. It's the whole stealing the shield thing. He didn't steal it, but taking the shield thing. So yeah, he's and he's just like stay away out of my way or whatever. So then yeah, that happens. Episode ends off with actually us seeing uh, Zemo and um, yeah, us seeing Zemo as he's still in prison for some reason, and um, yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier going to talk to them because. Uh, they think they might know something. So, yeah. Uh, sorry if that was a bit rushed. My apologies. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue to explain things throughout the episode. I think I'm just going to give my honest thoughts and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, there were a lot of Easter eggs. Um, or I guess, I guess you can classify them as Easter eggs. I don't know how to explain them. But uh, they're like characters who we know is something else in the comics. Like, for example, last week, um, I think his name is Torres or something like that. Hold on, I need to search up his name real quick. But yeah, last week, the guy who was helping Sam, um, yeah, Joaquin Torres, uh, he, in the comics, actually takes up the mantle of Falcon. And when Sam takes up the mantle of Captain America, he takes up the mantle of Falcon. So that's that's definitely an interesting Easter egg as well because that could damn well happen. We never know. You could never know. So, yeah, that's something else in that. As well as in this episode, we saw somebody named Lamar Hoskins, who I just mentioned, 
as he's working with the U.S. agent. In the comics, his name is actually Battlestar, and he, he actually even says the name in the in the show. He's like, oh, I named myself Battlestar. But I think he gets like some powers or something. So that's important to note as well. Uh, yeah, then he ends up using the Elias Bucky in the comics, which is really strange. But yeah. Um, yeah, he, he kind of gets his superhuman strength and stuff from a guy named Carl Malgus. Malice, who who actually we could see in this uh, show because he is responsible for the creation of the Torres Falcon and same with uh, Battlestar. So yeah, I definitely think maybe we could we could see him. I have no clue. Uh, and then we another Easter egg kind of is the Isaiah Bradley uh, Easter egg. Um, yeah, because he's in the comics. He was uh, just a guy who kind of joined the army but the then he got like the government started experimenting on him and he got powers but like they tried to trick him or like they tried to not like imprison him or something but they didn't he had pretty much the same powers as captain america stuff like that uh but he ended up getting locked up and got court-martialed because he put on the suit of Captain America and went and fought uh, with the soldiers. He was prominent around the Korean War and stuff like that. At least that's what they say. Uh, so yeah, that's something else as well. Uh, and we learn also that it, he actually knows exactly who Winter Soldier is. And the whole effects on it and how people feel about him. That's something else to really understand as well. Is the way... Um, the way people feel about uh, Winter Soldier, seeing as though he was an assassin, and now he's just fine. Uh, and he doesn't like it, and he doesn't believe it, and he's like, oh, I chopped your metal arm off back in the 50s or whatever. So that that's something, an interesting take as well. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, we also got some backstory as well for Carly uh, Mont. Morgenthau and if you don't know that's actually they uh in the comics Flag Smasher who she's portraying kind of a group of them or whatever on uh, the comics Flag Smasher is one person and his name is Carl May Megenthau Morgenthau sorry so that was an interesting take they pretty much swapped the gender of the name or whatever so now it's Carly instead of Carl so I thought that was interesting as well. Uh, the Flag Smashers got a little bit, not backstory, but they we got to see a bit more of them and see how they operate and stuff. They kind of operate, uh, not like terror, terrorists or anything, but like they are jumping around the place, uh, or not jumping around the place, jumping around from like city to city and they're fleeing something. So I, I honestly, in all honesty, I have no clue who they are fleeing. I think they might be fleeing like the not the world, but like governments and stuff like that, because that would make sense. Um, yeah, and then finally we got a when we saw Zemo. I I had no clue Zemo was still locked up, so we're probably gonna see him break out probably hopefully soon. Um, yeah, I I. Honestly, can't wait to see more Zemo. And I realized uh, this show is gonna look is gonna be pretty cool. Honestly, uh, it looks like it's gonna be really, really well done. Um, at least so far, it looks like it's really, really good. It's kind of relating stuff from the real world, world and stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, I'm I, I'm curious to see what happens next episode. If I'm going to take a guess, I'm guessing we're going to probably see Zemo meeting Winter Soldier and Falcon. But then Zemo just maybe escaping or something. Um, yeah, uh, definitely interesting stuff in this uh, episode. Honestly, I would give this a full on 10 out of 10. Or at least 10.5 to bring it over the episode 1. So, 
I really, really enjoyed the the uh like the fight scenes and stuff in it. It was really well done. Music was really well done. How they like mashed up some old music and stuff like that. Uh so yeah, really enjoyable. But anyways, uh thanks for watching. Uh comment down below. What what did you like this episode? Uh curious to know. But anyways, uh thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.